Hello. <clears throat> so this is this video is gonna be titled FDMO FDMO 10K Challenge Failed. Because I blew the account today. The trade I took yesterday, uh, they were actually good trades. Although they all failed, let me explain why. So yesterday's video, mm, in yesterday's video, um, I had an NGDCHF uh, trade, which this was a bad, a bad trade. This I took uh, while being and while while being an emotional five-year-old but today uh ntcchf made a really good uh divergence from here to here 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 resistance right spot on beautiful divergence had i seen this at uh five I wasn't behind the computer, unfortunately. But this would have been an amazing trade. <clears throat> Half an hour, and this one would have been... Another half an hour, 15 minutes, and I would have made 100 bucks. But it is what it is. Um... I hope I don't get banned for the, for using this video, for, for using this music because it should be uh, no copyright music. This is my this was I used it for a gym, for my workouts. I haven't used it in a while, but they're more in my opinion they're motivational. <laughs> okay, so uh, moving on, I'll show you my telegram. You can you can uh, sense when I'm off the reservation. Let's quote that. Uh, if I'm not posting and I'm not uh, sharing outlooks and uh, setups I'm looking for, and uh, you can you can get a sense of uh, if I'm not being disciplined enough, and that actually happened because as soon. As soon as uh, I started to lose a bit more, I know I just wanted it so bad. I f fell back into the relapse of my old self. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy anymore. Anyway, um, so. Um, I want to do okay, yeah. Okay, these are the um, the latest trades. So uh, I closed NGDCHF halfway to the stop because AUDCHF. Uh, stopped out during the night. Um, so nothing, nothing I would have done differently with this pair because there's divergence uh, on the four hour. There's a there's a support line. There's a top channel. So everything indicated a sell. So I would have done nothing differently. And um, it just didn't work out this time. Uh, and then after I took the UDCHF trade, I took a USD JPY trade. And uh, here's why. There's a resist support here, turn resistance. And uh, on the one hour, right? 
and uh, there's divergence here. And I took this trade something like this. I think it was 80. 80 pips was the stop. Uh, maybe something like this. And since I was in a such a deep drawdown, I decided I'm going to uh, throw away my proven system that I used to pass the 200k uh, free challenge and uh, stay break even on the second challenge, on the 10k challenge, I think it was. And, um, and I used to get 5% in two days. I, uh, with the uh, FDMO 10k challenge, I decided to throw that away and uh, go back to my old trading habits uh, of taking a trade and placing uh, take profit like extremely de degenerately high because I was thinking, yo, 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 break and retest, no man's land. Uh, this is going to fall like, I don't know, somewhere here. Definitely, yeah, just straight down, which never happens for me even though there are trades like this like this right it never happens for me it hasn't happened for me yet i've been in trades that are closed and then they have plummeted but i've never catched a trade like that so uh, so this was one trade that i decided to take the second trade i took uh in the morning actually was GP, catch apy same deal uh kind of a break and retest here and there is divergence here here and so i figured uh if usdj jpy is gonna drop catch jpy is gonna drop what I didn't notice was the H4 divergence here. Didn't notice the H1 divergence and the multiple rejections from the downside. Same same deal on USDJPY. There was a uh, H4 divergence. H4 divergence uh, from here to here here and you know multiple wicks here and uh, I didn't notice that but this trade this trade would have been amazing one-to-one -one trade and my account would still be alive uh, because this went into one-to-one -one. Uh, so today if I would have kept my system, if I would have traded my system, AUDCHF would have uh, been a loss. Then this would have been a winner. Uh, this was also a loser, but I didn't close because uh, I only had uh, $100 left and I decided stop losses weren't necessary. I just complete, completely threw my system away. That's, that, I don't know. So this was a loser as well. I think I took it from somewhere here. Let's see, let's see. No, I took it from here. Yeah, nine o'clock, yeah. Um, yeah. Decided to throw my system away, didn't use a stop loss. And um, so this one, this is what my um, uh, they should have looked like if I would have kept my system. AUDCHF closed in loss in the middle of the night. Of the night. Uh, then USDJPY would have closed in profit, so break even. This would have been a loser, so one losing trade. And uh, I noticed a GP CAD trade uh, multi this is a support 
turn resistance, multiple rejections, three wicks, let's say, let's call it triple top, divergence, huge wicks next to each other, divergence entered after the engulfing candle here, and this would have been a winner. And uh, the, I would still would have closed in loss today because of this stupid uh, trade I took from down here somewhere. I don't know where was it. Anyway, this was an extremely stupid trade. So, but I still I would have been in loss like sixty bucks. So not a huge loss, and my account would still be alive had I traded my system. Um, but I'm not giving up. I can't because. Um, sorry, I think I know this is messing with, with the microphone. But I'm not giving up. I can't because um, I just had a, a kind of an epiphany <laughs> because I really, really, really want to quit my job. Uh, but my expenses are over here, and if I quit my job, then. Uh, Where's the camera? My expenses are over here, and uh, with two incomes, uh, my expenses, my, my incomes with two jobs, let's say, with the, with the you know nine to five job and the career partner business, uh, I'm a little bit in profit, so just a little. Uh, I can manage, right? I can I can repair my cars and stuff like that, but if I quit my nine to five job. And just just use the career partner partner business, then my incomes are gonna lower, my expenses are still gonna go up, you know, keep high, stay high, and I can't just just do that because I got a family, I got like I got liabilities, I got you know mortgage, leases, car loans, a lot of shit to deal with. And it's really frustrating to be so stuck in the matrix and financially is so stuck. That's a bummer. And uh, I decided I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a mindset video this uh, Saturday. I've already thought about thought about the topic, and I'm gonna do about how to eliminate all distractions and the. Um, loan payments I talked about in the you can't say you can't save yourself rich video. I'm still gonna continue with that because I want to remove that distraction and remove and reduce my loan pay, like my li li liabilities. Because yes, the money could be used to, to start the e-commerce business. But in all reality, I have no time right now to uh, take that extra you know, work because I got my main job, I got my career partner business, I got my trading business that I'm trying to start, that I'm working really hard on, in my opinion, <laughs> in my in my humble opinion, and then I got this YouTube channel that uh, i'm used at that i'm building and i'm you know holding myself accountable while trading so i have no plus this is the, the four things i listed was just you know me working plus i got other 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 things like my family right my kids they they require attention and time uh plus i'm you know in the gym working out and um, <laughs> I'm already sleeping like three or four hours uh, between days so I thought about going to the gym uh, tomorrow morning but I would have to wake up at five so I would, would get five hours sleep today right now is 12 and I think I've slept like six hours uh, in 48 hours, you know, on these two days. These two days, I think I've slept like six, six or seven hours in total. So I think it would be wise to rest. 
sometimes. Uh, because, <clears throat> well, I'm, I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll still go. Probably not. But yeah, um, that's my rant. And I already purchased the, I already took the uh, My Forex Funds 10K challenge because the FTM, FTMO is a bit pricey. Uh, my Forex Funds is twice as cheaper and it has, you know, it's a, a little bit of a different rules, a bit more strict, but in my trading, with my trading style and with my trading strategy, there's actually no difference for me. So, um, my plan going moving forward is to take the 10k my forex funds challenge uh trade that uh, past that trade that for like a couple of months use that money to pay off my you know small loans my high interest small loan and my car loan then take the profit and take the 300k challenge from my forex funds and uh past that then pay off my car lease <clears throat> then there's nothing left to pay off but the mortgage so financial system my financial situation I'm coming for you and uh, yeah let's make this happen let's make 2023 the best year yet who's <laughs> Who's with me? <laughs> Shouting at my hallway. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end this, end it here, and uh, see you in the next video. Did I forget anything? I think not. So yeah, it, it's a bit. I I know I have an affiliate link for for FTMO, but it's a bit weird to promote the FTMO while I'm trading. I'm trading in my forex funds as the uh, account. So maybe I'll get affiliated with my forex funds as well. Let's see. I think I saw an affiliate uh, like link or something in their website. But the the reason why I uh, uh, why I took the FTM uh, my forex funds again and not the FTMO because well first of all FTMO is a bit more pricier uh, twice as twice as uh, twice as much but why am I so dark but uh, the other reason is that actually their back office uh has improved i didn't uh i didn't like the way that they're maybe i can show you uh, let me log in okay so this is an old uh old uh challenge i took which i actually passed wow really oh that's the uh, evaluation step two, which means I, I've had two funded FTM, I have had two funded my Forex funds accounts. First account, I didn't get a, after I got my live account, I didn't get a single trade in blue and I lost it. Uh, with the second account, I got a payout of $700. That's why I know I can do this. And then after I got the payout, I used that payout to buy an FTMO 100K challenge and then I traded them both simultaneously and then I blew them both. Amazing, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but the but, but, uh, thing I wanted to show you is that uh, before uh, my Forex funds wasn't able to make the chart so that when you move your mouse 
it's gonna show you the exact exact like uh, place where you're gonna where your mouse is it uh, usually it uh, previously was something like this I held my mouse over here and the data that they showed you was somewhere over here it showed you this day here but my mouse was over here so this was a bit weird for me so I didn't like the back office and the and the uh, data that they showed over here but in reality while now doing trading the FTMO uh, challenge I actually missed uh, the exact numbers that they show here because uh, at FTMO they show you how much you can lose still right how, what's your what's your daily loss limit left but here they show the actual you know balance and the equity numbers that you can't surpass right and that i actually like this one better because the the, the, the data syncing is a bit lagging, right? So you have to refresh your, if you're trading on the edge, like I unfortunately am at times, it's good to know what, what the exact numbers can be because the data of how much you can still lose, you know, might lag while the price is moving, right? So of the, of the trade. Anyway, I'm writing here. Um, again 20 minutes 20 minutes video um let's go get it i'm gonna pass the my forex fund challenge and then uh, on to the evaluations that do see you guys in the next video